Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 296 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today's quiz was a team effort coming from Richland, Pennsylvania. It was worked on by Suzanne, Tim, Rachel, and Jevin. They've sent in a 21-question random knowledge trivia quiz. There's going to be 20 questions up front and a question 21 at the end if you need a tiebreaker. Let's get started. Question number one. The national drink of Canada is the Caesar, a cocktail with ingredients that include vodka, clam juice, and tomato juice. What iconic Canadian dish is also on the menu and consists of french fries, cheese curds, and gravy? What's the name of that dish? The answer is poutine. Question number two. This environmental disaster was depicted in a 2016 movie starring Mark Wahlberg and Kurt Russell. What offshore drilling rig exploded and sank in 2010, killing 11 crewmen and causing the largest marine oil spill in history? The name of that movie and the rig was called Deep Water Horizon. Question number three, the dictionary defines LARPing as an interactive game where the participants portray characters through physical action, often in costume and with props. What does the acronym LARP stand for? L-A-R-P, what's it stand for? If you are LARPing, you are participating in live action role playing. Question number four. This style of house is characterized by its narrow frontage and rooms arranged one behind the other with doors at each end. There are no hallways and a bullet could fly cleanly through the front doorway and out the back. What were these houses called that were especially popular in the city of New Orleans? That type of house is referred to as a shotgun house. Question number five. These line-shaped clouds form when the warm exhaust fumes from an airplane mix with the cold air at high altitudes. Not all aircraft leave these clouds behind, but it became an issue during World War II because these tracings could give away a pilot's location. What are these clouds called? The most often used name is Contrails. Question number six. Stephen Sondheim wrote a Broadway musical inspired by the French pointillist painter Georges Chirot's painting A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte. What was the name of this musical whose original production starred Mandy Patinkin as Surratt? The answer is Sunday in the Park with George. Question number seven, Final Fantasy, Madden, NFL, and Grand Theft Auto are all popular video game franchises on this popular video game console. As of 2023, what is the name of the best-selling video game console of all time? Be specific. Specifically, it is the PlayStation 2, not just PlayStation. Question number eight. This video game series features an Indiana Jones-like character who is often recovering relics and fighting bad guys all over the world. In 2022, a movie with the same name was released featuring Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. What is the name of this series?
I haven't played the video game, but I watched the movie. The answer is Uncharted. And it was pretty good. Question number nine, the Netflix series Stranger Things is filled with pop culture references. The villain of the show's first season was the Demogorgon, which terrorized Hawkins, Indiana. The Demogorgon was borrowed from which fantasy tabletop game that has players roll dice to determine if their choices succeed? The answer is Dungeons and Dragons. Question number 10, this classification system for books, which allows for grouping by subject matter, is named after the librarian who invented it. Before its use, books were shelved according to when they were acquired by the library. What is the name of this number system that allows users to easily locate books in a library? That system is known as the Dewey Decimal System. Question 11. Held annually in France, it's the ultimate test of endurance for drivers of sports car racing. That's because this race takes place over 24 hours and the winner is the one who covers the greatest distance during that time. What is the name of this sporting event and the same named French town nearby? That race is called the 24 Hours of Le Mans, and Le Mans is the answer. Question number 12. Born in Hammondsport, New York, this man was an aviation pioneer and a competitor of the Wright brothers. His flight from Albany to New York was the first long-distance flight between two major cities in the U.S. Who is this man who has a museum in Hammondsport dedicated to his life and work? The answer is Glenn Curtis. Question number 13. The rock band Blue Oyster Cult had success in the 1970s with its songs Don't Fear the Reaper and Burnin' For You. But with lyrics like, Oh no, there goes Tokyo, what song about a popular movie monster with the same name was a sleeper hit for the band? Oh No, There Goes Tokyo is from the song Godzilla. Question number 14. The NATO phonetic alphabet is the one that starts with Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. But there have been several versions of a spelling alphabet. A special agency of the United Nations produced the first official one in the 1920s. What did this first version primarily use as its basis for the letters? Primarily, they used the names of different cities and countries. Question number 15. While it's true that Atari dumped unsold merchandise in a New Mexico landfill in 1983, a 2014 excavation showed that the rumors of what was buried there were greatly exaggerated. What game, often cited as the worst video game ever, was said to have millions of copies in a mass burial? I remember hearing this story when I was a little kid. Supposedly there were millions of copies of E.T. the Extraterrestrial Buried. Question number 16. What word refers to all of these things? A brand of sugar-free chewing gum? The name of the weapon used by the god of the sea in classical mythology? And the logo of Italian vehicle manufacturer Maserati? The word we're looking for is the trident. Question number 17. What is the name of the two-word car game played on road trips where players look for Volkswagen Beetles and, once a beetle is spotted, 
they gently hit another passenger in the arm. You guys must have been playing a different game than we were, because with my three brothers, there was nothing gentle about playing Punch Buggy. Punch Buggy is the answer. Question number 18. The psychological response has been described as a coping mechanism to a captive or abusive situation, in which the victim begins to bond with their abuser. One of the most infamous examples is the kidnapping of Patty Hearst by the Symbionese Liberation Army in 1974. What is this condition known as? The answer is the Stockholm Syndrome. Question number 19. In general terms, this word refers to a second chance to perform an action. More specifically, it is heard on the golf course when a player is given an extra stroke after a poor shot that is not counted on the scorecard. What is this word that allows a person a do-over after the first try was poorly executed? The answer is a mulligan. Taking a mulligan. And question 20. This acronym gets pulled out when someone doesn't want something perceived as undesirable or hazardous cited near their residence, especially when they have no objections to similar developments elsewhere. What does the acronym NIMBY stand for? N-I-M-B-Y. NIMBY stands for Not In My Backyard. You'll see that a lot with uh, celebrities who are all for affordable housing or, you know, a, a new prison being built until they find out it's being built next to them. And then they say, Not In My Backyard. And that is it for today's quiz. Thank you again to Suzanne and crew for writing an excellent quiz. Great categories, great questions. This really felt like a, uh, like a Friday night pub quiz. The questions were fun. There were some hard ones, but some easy ones and some right in the middle. I had a good time hosting the quiz. Hopefully you guys had a fun time writing the quiz and hopefully everybody else had a good time playing the quiz. Let's wrap up the quiz with question 21, the tiebreaker. Time Magazine is known for logging the most intriguing person, group, or concept of the year, although this tradition did not start with its first year of publication. What year did Britton Hayden and Henry Loosh publish the first issue of Time? Not the first man of the year, but the first issue of Time came out in what year? The answer is 1923. Whichever player got closest to 1923 is going to win the point. If it was a tiebreaker, they just won the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you again, Suzanne. See everybody else tomorrow for day number 297.